Hi everyone, this is Guo again. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the 3D CAD. So if you have a 3D CAD for the part that you want to inspect, that can make it so much easier to write Dimis, graphic report, or many other things. Among those things, I would like to say auto recognition is very useful function indeed because it detects the edge of the feature and you can modify the area of measuring very easily as well so let's take a look at what we need to know to use this useful function first import to use various 3d cad files you will have to import the file first to use it on your measure these are the files that Duromeja support. So after importing is done, DUK file type will be generated automatically in the same folder. Then next time, you won't need to import again. You can just simply open the same name as a DUK file. Second, move cat model. So you probably already know what this function does. Yes, it is a function of moving the 3D CAD model. So there are many options. First, move. You can use mouse or input the coordinates to be moved the CAD model. Rotate. Use mouse or input the angle to be moved the CAD. Move to bed. Moves the model to the center of the bed. Rotate normal. Rotate the selected face vertical to the specified coordinate axis model alignment alignments using the plane edge vertex of many models okay, let's see the practice so first import the 3d cad file our training sample so import uh, our training sample which is katia v5 v6 Selecting the file of training sample and click open and the converting process window will pop up when it's done result window will pop up automatically and then see if the translation completed successfully So when you import the CAD file for the first time, it will most likely under the MCS. Because LCS is harmonized with the current coordinate system, which is MCS right now. So LCS is short for local coordinate system, which means a coordinate system for 3D CAD models. Okay, let's move this model to the center of the bed and put it as the same as the actual product by rotate normal so first move to the bed select the model it will move to the center of the bed and click apply and then click rotate normal and select the model you want to move and then click the plane that you want to rotate apply now you can see the model and the training sample are looking at the same direction. And so we'll try to create LCS and then harmonizing by the model alignment function as you can see on the slide right now. So to create LCS, first you should convert the neural measure to offline to prevent any collisions. And then set a coordinate on the 3d model right now clicking with the control keys on then setting the alignment system right So after that, go to Model Alignment and click Save Current PCS to New PCS. Then LCS3 will be created. 
Then bring back neural measure to online and set a coordinate on the actual part with the same data. As you can see on the right bottom, measuring the parts right now. But on the screen, as you can see, the location is slightly different. So now, open model alignment and click LCS3 first and then click move to the model to current PCS2 harmonize the model to the PCS from the actual part now it's all done and let's measure a circle with auto recognition click measure circle and click the area you want to measure on the model and then it'll automatically recognize the hole and modify the count a little bit and click OK to start the measurement. Now you can see the circle 1 is measured and then if you look at the nominal, it will automatically extract from the model. So by harmonizing the 3D model to the actual part, you can do real-time comparison measurement. So it's really useful to inspect profile tolerance of the part and applying orders so this is basically the steps that we've been through earlier in the video so please refer to this page if you didn't catch up the video correctly okay thanks for watching and I'll be back with you guys in the next video thank you